they didn't make me feel like I was in there coming from the street. This is the story of the grandmother turtle. Three to eight years old, I was in foster care homes, like all over, everywhere. And then when they found an adoptive home for me, um, I was adopted at eight. And then um, that was an like, abusive home, so I left at 14. That's how I, and that's how I started life early. Because I had been homeless so many years of my life, um, and I had been out there in the streets so many years of my life, it was like I came here to this house and it was so empty, you could hear the walls um, echoing. And so, um, the next thing to do was to call Bridget and get hooked up with them to see if they could help me with providing things. And that's when this beautiful story like just comes together. It was just like they didn't make me feel like I was in there coming from the street or like that I needed stuff because I'm less of a person. I just felt loved. I felt really like welcomed and that that boosts up that feeling, you know? And I felt really cared for and I felt and, and, and this might sound like I'm exaggerating but I, it, it means a whole lot when you don't have nothing when you're coming from nothing and you don't have nothing and you have to turn to somebody for everything it's not a good feeling when you're working super hard for your life and you're making big huge changes and you don't have to worry about where your bed's coming from or where your table's coming from if you want to sit down and eat it's like those are the things that help you out so much that you get to go and keep succeeding. And you get to go and and um and and, and invite a person over or, or, or tell them, hey yeah, come have some coffee or some tea and sit with me, you know, and it's like that's beautiful and that's beautiful when you've been waiting so long to have a home.